now is the time to tighten up the belt and really buckle down and making sure that we're keeping everybody safe because if not, the consequences could be dire. A doctor with Springfield Ties talks about fighting COVID-19 on the front lines. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Jesse Inman, Heather and David have the night off. Six months ago, we spoke with Dr. Dylan Wyatt, who worked in New York at the time. But as our David Chazanov found out today, things have changed. David, how's he doing? Well, Jesse, he moved to Duluth, Minnesota not too long ago. Dylan and his fiance wanted to be closer to family, but that's not the only reason. Dylan Wyatt worked as an emergency room doctor at New York Presbyterian Brooklyn Methodist Hospital with his fiance Jenna. New York was a wonderful place, uh, met a lot of great people and had wonderful experiences. And from a, a training perspective, we couldn't have asked for a better place. But three months ago, the couple decided to move to Duluth, Minnesota. It wasn't entirely related to COVID. I'd be lying if I didn't say there wasn't at least a portion of it. It's hard to distance properly in New York. To me, wanting to be able to do everything that I could to help prevent spread, felt like I needed to be in a place where I could be more comfortable with the amount of distance that I could have. Treating COVID-19 patients in the epicenter of America's outbreak also put a toll on him. It was mentally and emotionally exhausting to be out there. There were so many people that died so quickly and so horribly. They died alone. We did everything we could to help them, but this disease is horrible. In Duluth, Wyatt works as an emergency medicine physician at St. Luke's Hospital. It's been wonderful here. I needed a little bit of rest, I'll be honest. I have been most struck by how people here, not that they didn't in New York, but people here are very conscientious. They know that they need to help keep their community safe. Inside the hospital, he says he's seen a lot more patients develop heart issues in Duluth than in Brooklyn. It's different, and it worries me that if in a sick person those are the symptoms, how different will those be in the healthy people, the people who are the people spreading in the community? His worries also circle back to where he grew up. I still have friends, loved ones in the Springfield area, and I've been watching with I'll be honest, horror. The hospitals are all overwhelmed already, and things are have not peaked yet there. They will get worse. That scares me. Wyatt asks that people wear a mask. I know it's uncomfortable. I wore it for 12 hours a day for months when I was working on the COVID units. But what I can also tell you is that it works, saves lives. If we don't do that, people are going to die. A lot of people are going to die, and it's preventable. And Wyatt has a message for Springfield healthcare workers. It gets better. He says ignore the hate you might be receiving and that you're doing an incredible job. Wyatt also mentioned his concerns about people who are getting tired of social distancing and masking and who might not be taking precautions as seriously as this pandemic continues. Tomorrow night here on Color 10, I'll share a story on the dangers of COVID fatigue.